and welcome everyone back to bows blades and bombs i'm your resident zombie uh archery killing fool uh greg scott bailey <laughs> tried to come up with a punchline there but uh just not happening i'll try it for day three anyways uh we are starting day two now uh, i went ahead and i cleared the loft and I did a couple things to try to get some XP during the night. I went and got all of the cobble that was uh, downstairs. And then up here, I actually got rid of all of the uh, the Shamway boxes. You can see those down there, right? Uh, because when we start getting up to steel, we are going to need the scrap polymers for those. You don't use feathers. So I'm just kind of thinking ahead on that. Uh, we are hungry right now. So um, I'm going to... We're going to play a Shamwich Roulette. All right, first one, good to go. Second one. Result, okay, so no no dysentery, no no uh, stomach bug from that. Uh, but then we'll use uh, the can of chili likely on our first quest here. So um, actually, let's, you know, let's go ahead and get these blueberries. Might as well. They only give you one food each, but it gets out of the inventory and four blueberries is, you know, four health more than we had. So, or excuse me, four food more than we had. There we go. Rock and roll. Um, and I put the shovel because uh, we're going to be doing buried supplies uh, already in the inventory. We still have rocks to repair. Let's go fully repair both of these. And let's go ahead and uh, find these buried supplies. It's going to be uh, north for 500 meters north. Okay, let's get them. Yeah, oh, good. Our first catch of the day. And right about there. No? Okay, right about there. Come on, everybody's watching. You gotta do good, Greg. There we go. <laughs> Rock and roll. Uh, I did make 10 more arrows to start out the day. We only had, I think, four or five. Uh, oh, another bunny rabbit. Let's get that good bunny karma for today. Is that a biker? Oh, boy. Definitely want to get, get some initial damage on him first before he gets close. The knockdown. Yep, he's Mr. Pincushion. Like Jason Voorhees, he's coming, Greg. There we go. All right, so we got some of the arrows back. We currently have six. All right. Oh, tree stump. Yeah, I just realized we hadn't uh, hadn't gotten these yet. We gotta get a chance of honey. Uh, just in case. I mean, we're, we're going to be up close and personal with some zombies using knives, so yeah. No honey on the first try. Oh boy. A couple more bird's nests. Alright. I'm skipping past destroying them now because uh, I think we've got a, a decent inventory started. We're up to 60. Eh, it's, not, it's not bad for day two. Because case in point, now we're finding more. All right, we're at the spot. We got one zombie over there. Sometimes I do like to clear out a nearby zombie just because by the time I'm digging stuff up, they could get here. All right, let's go ahead and finish them off. All right, so that's what I like about having some level three items by day two. You know, you do seem to do a decent job of... Uh, he's far enough away. You do a decent job of uh, taking out the zombies uh, a lot quicker, even on this uh, this level. Again, we're on Nomad, so... Um, all right, let's go ahead and start the quest. Now, I know some people still say that the uh, the whole southwest corner thing works. I don't know if it does, but let's, uh, let's go here. In which case, every time I do this, inevitably I'm building my ramp over... <laughs> the uh the top of the uh the loot uh but yeah we'll see what happens and go from there oh looks like yep there it is all right see what we got here uh this is another reason i do love about uh doing buried supplies early as you tend to get uh um you know, food items early on. So let's do the charred meat and then the water to kind of combat our, our current health. We're going to save the sham chowder. Um, all right. Let's rock and roll. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Okay, we got four zombies. One of them's not part of this, I think, but... Poke you in the eye. We'll come over here. Poke you in the eye. Let's get you two. What? Ooh, ooh. There we are. Do that, and do that, and do that. Oh, that makes them run, Greg. Okay, not bad, though. Oh, except now I'm out of arrows. <laughs> Juke and stab. All right, we got one, one arrow back. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, let's make another... Uh, can we make 10? Yes. All right, so hopefully we, we don't come back this way and fall in that hole because I'm not filling it in. If I was on the public server, I would fill that in, but I'm not as worried. Whoop. Let's get to you. Boop. And boop. Boop. And we are now level three. Uh, so I have a good feeling we're going to make uh, level four during today's work as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that point into uh, deep cuts so that now that our we'll, we'll get the actual 20% uh, uh, more damage and um, the bleed wounds was that you could inflict up to four bleeding wounds on an enemy and a power attack inflicts three so now we know that we can you know do a little bit more damage with our knife even though we had found a level three knife dare I say I am gonna segue and kill some zombies early game oh look at that look at that bows and blades ladies and gentlemen we're going to uh segue and kill some zombies early game to ensure that we're uh, able to get as much xp as possible killing zombies is a good way to get xp early on um also upgrading blocks from uh, wood to cobble early game is a pretty good way to do it too it's pretty rare that you could get um within the first two or three days concrete going and concrete uh, from cobble is uh, also another good xp gain uh, but at that point um, hopefully you have a, a hammer and you had some uh, concrete mix that you got from the trader or from loot or something like that uh, but the hard part there is are you using it on something beneficial or are you just randomly upgrading blocks like like i did last night with the wood i didn't mind doing that because I just I had a whole bunch of wood and that was part of the plan. But <laughs> if you're using concrete on miscellaneous blocks when you could probably use it for a first starter horde base, um, I, I'd rather use it on that first starter horde base. Could you be any louder? I could be lots louder. What are you talking about? Surprise, <laughs> surprise. Um, I suppose ooh. you want something in return. Ooh. I have a feeling we're going to find first aid bandages we're probably gonna find more grave digger mods anyways but um if we're gonna be doing buried supplies i'd like to get a little bit of a leg up on that uh what's your next jobs um nearest one clear zombies gig. house victorian okay, we have a deal. we'll take come it back when it's done. come back when it's done um actually did we actually take a look at his inventory i don't remember um so he already has some steel arrows oh man can you imagine starting out with that I mean, actually, I could. Uh, does he have any iron arrowheads, though? That's the that's the real question. Um, no, I don't see anything too imperative right now either. What's your secret stash like? Pump shock. <laughs> oh, needle and thread. Seven. He's got it. There. Let's just get it and read it. That's that's worth spending the money right away on. Everything else is good. Damn things are selling like hotcakes. And we ended up picking up another sewing kit on a random piece of trash. So let's drop off what we got and we will... Uh... Oh, you know what? There's a ammo thing up there. And... Okay. I was trying to see if we had any ammo. We still got to get that boar. Um, did, we, did we go here? Maybe we did. We did. Okay. I don't know why. I thought thought maybe I forgot that. All right. So he can't come up and get us. So we'll uh, try him from here. Oh, shit. Remember that thing about not wanting to get garroted? Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that, that's fair. We, we let him get one lick in. That's fine. All right, 
doing a cheap way back up here just because uh, we're wanting to. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh golly, OG. Oh, Do another sandwich roulette. Hey, three for three. Okay. Um, yeah, no need for goldenrod. So now we got the sham chowder for later. Let's go ahead and do this next job and let's see what we can get out of there. So hopefully we'll have a cooking pot in there. Okay, zombie bow. Yeah. Oh. And a Beverly. Dr. Beverly Crusher. Can we do the long range? Nope. Oh. <gasps> No freaking way. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I just did that just out of circumstance. Okay. Again, this is why we do bows and blades, ladies and gentlemen. Just to, just to act like we know what we're doing. Where, where was he? Oh, but we don't get an arrow back? For shame. Come on. A crack shot like that and we don't get an arrow back. All right. Uh, 120 meters here. Click. Uh, let's see. Where's he? He's still trying to get to us. He was already aggroed, so we didn't get the sneak damage. Hey, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, give us some good bunny karma, would you? All right, let's try to get a couple of bleed wounds in there. I don't know why I'm crouching. Almost got the go-go gadget arms, but ah, see, I can't can't get in there for that reach. Awesome. Okay, um, is this the house? Another redhead zombie. Was this like a random, uh, ah, she saw me. That's okay, I saw her too. Oh. All right, let's get uh, random things around the house. All this little miscellaneous stuff tends to help early game. But uh, I try not to go overboard. Arlene! Oh, great. <laughs> With some frames in it. Uh, but we can get some cobble here. Uh, this I don't think this is the POI I'm supposed to be in anyways. But uh, this gave us a chance to kind of get some extras. Oh, you know, if we're going for plastics. There we go. I'm not going to worry about early game cement, but you know, of course, we could have gotten that too. All right, where's that exclamation point? Okay, so it's over there. So it's at uh, another similar bungalow house with a destroyed roof. Interesting. Car park back there. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, and there's a military camp over there. Uh, where's the the mailbox for this one though? Did we did we check this one? We did not. <laughs> We're gonna finish that spear hunter series before we get anywhere near finishing the other ones. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, okay, go ahead and bleed to death. That's perfectly fine by me. Another Spear Hunter we already know. We'll sell it. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, jump in and finish this one up, and we will uh, rock and roll. Wow, okay, that's a first in a long time. I don't think I've ever had grilled meat in the actual grill. It's always burnt meat. Uh, but, yeah, we'll eat it. That's 20 more foods. That should make our food good for a little while. Uh, we did find a mineral water. I'm going to go ahead and drink it and just cap off our... Uh, our our mineral water for now. Uh, we can get this cobble before it gets destroyed or reset, I should say. And here we go. Oh, look, there's cobble again. <laughs> All right, we're we're starting to get aloe cream in uh, in stuff now too. I'm, I'm up to three. Which is good. We're likely going to be getting these uh, abrasions once in a while. Um, let's try to go above these guys. Now this is a clear area, so it's uh, killing the zombies versus uh, getting the uh, the loot. Where is he? 
Is he not loading in because I'm... Uh... Oh, no, he's right below me. Okay. Right about the back of the neck. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the cobble. Uh, I think this is... There's usually only one or two zombies up top here. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, so let's get the cobble. If there's anything leather, we're going to get leather while we're here as well. We want to get, uh, we anticipate making the forge here, in, um, by tonight. Now I think there's at least a loot container on this side. Yeah, there's this. Oh, there's our first repair kits. Um, so like I said, I'd like to put the repair kits up here. Go and start moving that. Oh, I forgot to make these back to, let's go to 10 to that yucca juice there. Yucca juice would be the, the backup beverage for now since we bought it from the trader. We might as well make sure we make use of it. Uh, those radiators we could... We could sell outright, or we could scrap them, add to the bundle of uh, brass that we sell to the trader. Uh, either way, we'll make use of that later as well. Okay, time to hop on down and see what trouble we can get into. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, don't miss. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got her. Oh, Marlene. So we had a Diane, we got a Marlene. Sounds like we got another lady over here. Oh, it's the nurse. Hello, nurse. Oh, nope, she's still alive. Now she's not. All right, and I keep pressing F to turn on my headlamp. <laughs> uh, I promise you guys I will do what I can to try to get a headlamp uh, as soon as possible so we don't have to keep having a dark series here. Ooh, we, had, we got some uh, blackstrap coffee. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and start scrapping every brass thing and, and start combining it. I'm going to scrap the coats. I'm not worried about paint. Um, one of the things that that reminds me of is we're going to avoid big projects in this, uh, this series. Uh, avoid being the key word because I, I tend to still want to do stuff. I want to build stuff. Um, as neat as everything is that I say I want to do, one of my biggest shortfalls is, is that I inevitably cannot finish any projects that I start. And I know it's got to be frustrating for a lot of you guys uh, watching my stuff. Um, some of you guys have outright expressed it to me. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I just want to legitimately say, you know, I, 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 I think it'd be best if uh, in doing this series here, that I don't start any big projects. Uh, and part of that was making that decision that uh, after three Horde Nights, we'll uh, we'll move on to a new P new POIs or, or new places. Um, I did not bring that wrench with me. Uh, we don't need springs and stuff right away anyways, but I could, uh, I could start getting springs and other stuff. Uh, so, but yeah, that's the decision there, I think, to, uh, to, to best uh, avoid trying to say I'm gonna do some sort of big project build a big base, build a big horde base, whatever. Um, we are going to decide by, I think, day four or five what, what place to have a horde base. <laughs> oh, no, that loot that was there. I um, also just noticed that there's a leather couch here. Right? Yeah. Okay. We just want to make sure we have enough leather for that forge later. Uh, that was not a lootable desk, though, but this... Over here. Whoop. Yeah, for whatever reason, I thought that this place was a tier two quest because I thought that the zombies down in the basement here were swarming kind of zombies, but I guess not. Uh, but we do have that one army zombie, mil military zombie, however you want to label them. And they always go for that door for whatever reason. They path over to that door. I don't, I don't get it, but that's what they want to do. Oh, don't miss. Oh, 
Okay, so let's get our arrows back. Oh, one more zombie. Another military. Get that dome shot if we can. There we go. And like I said, there we go. We leveled up one more time. So as promised, we will go ahead and do one in advanced engineering. That way we can get that uh, that forge going. I'm going to get the gore blocks and then we'll get the loot and we'll go from there. Okay, oh, the axe just broke. Still have that level one axe, so uh, let's go eat that. Grab the murky water. Let's grab, ooh, uh, Bunker Buster mod, nice. And the ammo will sell, what have we got in the wood crate? Uh, book we already know, a level four. And there's our first iron arrows, all right, rock and roll. Um, but where can we put it? We don't need the Chris Anthem seed. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the plant fibers. No, 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 no. We need those. Um, I just remembered uh, we want those for... Um, oh, can we eat the cornmeal? <laughs> yep. Uh, we want the plant fibers for pipe bombs. If we learn to do pipe bombs soon, uh, we'll want that. Um, so let's scrap the level three. Level four is now in our inventory. We're going to repair it as well. And we got the one book. Let's just, just read it. We don't have the room for it. Okay, any more leather items while we're here? This leather couch. And then we will get out of the basement here and move on. I don't think I've ever really tried to dig my way out of this basement. But the spotlight always points over to that part of the... Uh... Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, right at the start. Um, is there a zombie over here? I'm hearing somebody here. That's the S. Yes, it's an Arlene. Oh, I just missed her. Bows, blades, and bombs, ladies and gentlemen. In your nose. Okay. Uh, we're encumbered, but uh, we can go ahead and uh, make this work, I think. Let's head on back. Hey, another arrow book. Learn how to craft steel arrows and bolts. That's nice to get this early. Um, and that gets closer on our series. Uh, let's take a look right now here. We currently have, um, let's see, Needle and Thread. We have two books. Ranger's Guide to Archer, we have four out of seven. So we need three more to complete that. And, of course, we don't really give a crap about the, uh, <laughs> the, the Spears book. It's Britney Spears. Needle and thread, we'll just read it, but uh, t shirts, hat, tanks, that's fine. This better be good. Oh, it's good, Trader Hugh. It's good. It's all good. Stuff. Okay, Ar armor pocket mod. Okay. Oh, God, you still talking to me? I'm trying to talk to the viewers. Come on now. Oh, and we got too many things in our inventory. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, what do we got? That's ammo. Buckshot. Yes. Uh, don't. Oh, no, no, no. We do want to keep gunpowder. So thankfully, he didn't let me sell it. Uh, there we go. Bullet. Sell that. Well, it's about time you bought something. Is it? Is it really about time? Oh, we have we have no armor yet. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, do you have any armor for sale? Oh, it's expensive though. It's like like padded boots, maybe. And we could put that one pocket mod on. It might seem weird to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I guess you're not so bad after all. <sighs> I'm still gonna say you're bad. How about that? What, what do you got to say against that? Uh, let's get another job. Uh, this is a uh, fetch that's 170 meters. Help me. A modular house. Good yeah, we might be able to do this one quick. We'll drop off our stuff and let's see what we can go get. All right, so we put that together real quick. Uh, let's see what, what stacks. All right, we got our lock mod on, so let's organize the rest. <laughs> let's put actually our boots on, nice. Um, all right, so nothing else. I'll put gunpowder away. All right, so we got to try to see. Damn it, I just, I hate to make another storage. I don't want to stay here, but we, we still haven't really seen something we want to make a base out of yet. So let's do a second box. And put the, ooh. yeah, we can't put that in just yet. But as soon as we have room, we'll put that in the, uh, the old, uh, Oh, we did have more ammo to sell. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right, well, we're going to have to remember it later. Uh, 10, 11. 
Yeah, because we don't want to lose the uh we don't want to lose the plant fibers for now. Holy cow, like all of a sudden it's night stormy out. It's only 1644. Uh where's this next job over here? It's not cut through there. I think there's landmines next to that. Uh dog, snake, pig man <laughs> POI. Let's cut through here. Yeah, so yeah, I got modular stuff over here. Did we get this one? We did not. Good thing, because now we got uh, craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. Hells to the S. Alright, that means there's only a couple more left. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm in a rushing mood right now. It's the storm or something. Okay, here's the front, and yeah, we have to check this one. Okay, one we already know, just gotta read it. We get XP. I haven't read, done this one. Aha! 20%. Uh, I learned to safely remove 20% more arrows and bolts from your target. Hells to the yes. Now, where are we at with, uh, uh, with this? Boy, I'm having a hard time. So, yeah, six out of seven. So, we need number six. That's kind of cool. Uh, before we start that, let me just, I don't know. I just, I just want to, want to check this truck. And there's a, uh, mailbox over to the left there. Uh, we're not doing sledgehammer, so I can't use that. Better pickaxe though. That's good. Oh, as soon as I see the, the book cover, I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go. Uh, here's a good high chance uh, that we might find it here. We're going to aggro a zombie doing this. There it is. We got it. First completion is our Ranger's Guide books. The, the game knows. It knows. All right, so back around the corner, uh, back to the, the house here. So that's, that's why I try to hit those books early. Uh, those are the three that you get in your first week if you, you hit it at a low loot stage. You get uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery, Needle and Thread, and the Spears book. Now, if you're not doing Spears, then who gives a crap, right? But, uh, um, hey, sometimes a book completion is uh, is totally worth it. All right. Get more of our arrows back now. So we did check our, yes, here. Let's double loot this and this and this. Now, it's stormy out, so we got to be careful. It's going to be darker. If we're not careful, we might not uh, see stuff correctly. <laughs> Another ranger's guide. Oh, uh, but we did get a Spear Hunter's book we didn't read, so let's just read it anyways. And again, who gives a crap? If we finish it, we finish it. If not, I'm not worried about it. But uh, uh, we got the Needle and Thread book that we wanted as well, so no big whoop there. Uh, let's see if there actually is a dog in here. Just a zombie. Nice. Might still be a dog, though. Okay, nope. Alright, let's go ahead and loot. Now, this is a uh, find supplies, so we'll uh, make sure and keep an eye out for that. Okay, workbench. Hey, bicycle chassis. We just need the handlebars. Now, can anybody confirm in the comments with me, had the fun pimps... Have they have they gotten rid of the guaranteed engine every time you uh, wrench a engine? Is that now out of the game, or is there like a percentage chance? Uh, if you guys know the answer, please do uh, me a favor and post in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Oil recipe right away. Hey, I like I like that. And vehicle off road headlight schematic. I'm not worried about that. Three uh, three wheels now. That's the third one there that we found or we have gotten. Um, oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, don't fall behind stuff, Greg. There we are. Um, is there a bird up here? I believe so. All right, we're going to have to take a chance. Oh, look at that. We were able to sneak in on him. I'll take it. All right, Satchel is up top here, so thank goodness I saw that icon. The, uh, what do they call it, Sprite? All right, so technically the job is done, but I think we have plenty of time to uh, finish off the zombies inside. Somebody left their purse on the roof. Man. The whopping eight dukes, uh, they were afraid to 
to lose is now mine. Because of course he wasn't there when I popped open the uh, <laughs> popped open the uh, the, the um, oh god, what's this called? Closet. Uh, let's do this. Yep, medical supplies. Um, let's leave that closed for now, and we'll try to uh, open it up when we exit out of here. Now we've we've made like this module the home a base before. Uh, it's it's not like the best base in the world, but it's it's still kind of handy. Uh, we're not gonna really be able to finish getting uh, the rest of these items. So if it's not critical, let's kind of put it away for now. And the beverage cooler, we'll try to remember that. And let's kill the zombies. Crawler, that bow kind of looked like it was going fast at first. Get the arrow back, please. Thank you. Oh, reload. In your face. Cool. Alright, it's always like a big mama here, I think. Yep, there she is. Try to get a bleed wound in on her. And yeah. knock him down. And he just bled to death. I'll take it. Don't don't let up on Big Mama. You, you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. <laughs> Alright, what do we got for end loot? Bar brawling, we'll read it, even though we're not using bar brawling. Level four bow though. Oh, and those um arrows were we never did switch over to the uh to the iron arrows that we got before, but that's okay. Zombie outside. Can't get in yet. Uh, scrap that. But yeah, let's let's finish off the wooden arrows, and then we'll uh, we'll work on moving over to the iron arrows. Level two wrench. Gosh darn! I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, sledge schematic. Another headlight schematic, that's fine. More oil, though. I'll take it. Uh, let's see, I think there's that. Yes, and there's that. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Chemistry station schematic? Oh, But we got some Chris anthems. Now on stage, Chris and the anthems. Alright, now we could always... Oh, workbench. Ah. Oh. Two workbenches at this POI, and yet neither of them were uh, giving me a schematic for shame. Uh, let's head back and turn this in, and then we know we can come back here. Oh, zombies everywhere. We can come back here if we want to. Oh, shoot. Knock you down. Better get back up again. Okay, so iron arrows. Right through the skull. Um, okay, so let's head back, turn this in, and we can come back for the other loots uh, if we want to. Let's stay to the right. Again, I think that, I, I can't remember if there's landmines next to this other POI, so. Looking for something. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay, Molotov cocktails, those are going to be our first bombs. Uh, Molotovs do fall under the bombs category, uh, according to what uh, parameters I am setting. Um, let's go ahead and we'll sell the hoodie. Um, where's the sledge? Okay, sell the sledge. Found a whole bunch of brass. So that's and that's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Oh, kiss my butt. <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh, scrap these and will he buy that? Yeah, all but two. Stacks of 50. So yeah, like I said, we'll just put stuff in here. Uh, we know by day eight we can re-loot his cash register. Uh, for those that don't know, um, loot respawn on Alpha 20 is every seven days by default. So if you're constantly going by a POI like this, uh, or the trader, or POI, um, and you have loot containers that you want to re-loot again, um, if you're constantly in that chunk, it will not restore properly. So you want to make sure that you're, um, putting an object inside of it. And then on the day you want to loot it, you pull out the object and 
leave the uh, leave the loot container and then reload it, it should be free for you. So uh, we'll be able to test that on day eight here with his. Uh, oops, don't sell. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. Oh, I got I got so much I want to do, Hugh. I I want to hang out and I want to talk to you and you know we we could braid each other's hair and or maybe not. I don't know. Um, now I could repair this and sell it, but we're just gonna sell it out, right? Okay. Does he have anything that we need? Um, nothing imperative, right? Um, animal fat. If we were to buy all of it, it would be how much? Sixteen twenty. Now nah, we don't need it right now. Is there something else? Yes. Let's have another job to do tomorrow. Uh, let's see. A clear zombies. A job for you. Another modular. But you that's what we want. Is uh, this off. Start taking a look at the rest of this town. So that's going to send us out there. And we'll kind of see how much bigger this house is going to be. Um, I think I think this is the fort out here that I was looking at, right? Yeah. All right, let's head back to our temporary home. Ooh, it's foggy out. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so back at our, our temporary house. Uh, let's see what stacks. Put that away. Let's keep the bicycle stuff together. Uh, we just need handlebars. Ooh, that's what I didn't look at the trader. I'll try to look at the recorded footage and see if um, if he had uh, uh, bicycle handlebars for sale. Then we could skip over getting a bicycle for the um, the end of the tier one jobs quest. Uh, so now we have that tier three iron pickaxe. I got both those mods in there. Um, let's go ahead and put this stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's keep our feathers on us. And I didn't see that we had nine mil to sell. Well, we'll just add it to the next. Yeah, we'll try to get some better organization later. So now that we got Molotovs, I'm actually gonna put those in the number three slot. Oh, somehow we got that there. Uh, we got that there. I'll just scrap it for the brass and we'll sell the brass later. All right, I think we are, we're rocking along, I think pretty decently here. Um, brass takes forever to scrap, doesn't it? All right, now Trader Joel's now closed. We had this crypt uh, right next door to the trader. I just don't know if I want to set up a base that close to the trader. We're gonna take a look at the um, at more of the town here, and we could pick something else if we want. I, I just I haven't seen something that really stands out to me, and. You know, again, we're probably going to pick something that's going to last uh, us three horde nights. Now, we don't necessarily... Oh, creepy music time. We don't necessarily want to use the um, use the house as a horde base at, uh, either. But uh, like, I think by day four or five or six, we'll find something that we'll temporarily put together for a horde base. Uh, I'm not too worried about it uh, for day seven. But going forward, we'll want something that'll be good for later days so um thanks everyone for coming out for episode two of bows blades and bombs uh once again i appreciate each and every one of you that had uh uh come in and helped me out with my birthday yesterday it was really super awesome to see you guys on my twitch stream as well uh you could find me online at twitch at youtube at twitter at uh, Patreon, everything Greg Scott Bailey there for the support. Um, so thanks again, everybody, for stopping on by. And as always, we'll see you on the next adventure. All right. Bye-bye.